Hello and welcome back to Nevercraft. My name's Jurassic and this is my giant steampunk airship. And it's looking absolutely fantastic. And this is what we built in the last episode. Uh, cab or captain's cabin quarters. Uh, super awesome, really loving it. Been running around here like a madman. Got our map. Oh, we need to update it. We've uh, we've lost the green border around it, which was the, the grass for all of our scaffolding. Uh, didn't need that anymore, so we got rid of it. Uh, but anyway, uh, oh, fresh plate, thank you. So we have uh, we have got a few plans to do on here on the deck, uh, but we need to head over to uh, the shopping district because we haven't been over for a while and uh, we probably need to check out. Oh, what's this? Hello, Jurassics. We see your concerns with our operations. Ah, this this must be uh, in regards to the message I left for Speck and Onion uh, after they performed a coup, I guess, on, uh, on Game Changer. We are extremely sorry that you feel that our methods are unethical. But at the same time, we have to take control for the good of the people. Mega Inc. had plenty of time to prove themselves, but unfortunately, they did not do so. With your concerns about taxes and members who cannot afford to pay them, we plan to set up a loan business. Oh, loan sharks. This this still doesn't, doesn't feel good. Uh, where you can loan money from the government to pay for your shop. We get your frustration, but at the same time, the government's use of tax money is completely listed in the ledger at Town Hall. We thank you for your peaceful protest, but at the same time, we need the tax money to afford to pay for construction, new projects, and a universal basic income once a majority of people pay taxes. If you wish to meet with me, Please reach out and we can negotiate other payment plans. Thank you. Okay, that that that's rather rather polite, I feel. Uh, well, let's take that with us. Thank you. And uh, let's uh, let's head over to the shopping district and see what we find. So it's been a while since we've been in the Never and seen our lovely little hanging portals in here. Uh, so we got this one, which is our guardian farm collection area. Uh, so we collect all of our guardians on the uh, on the fires up top, and uh, collect their goodies there. This is to our industrial district, and this one over here is to our looting witch farm. Uh, so that's super awesome. And then this is to the main base uh, where our steampunk. Uh, airship is and uh, yeah I, I still super love these I think they're so cool and uh, well worth the effort that we put in to build them and then over here we head over and then we're heading right into the center uh, where the shopping district is so we got a grand total of 12 diamonds from our shops which uh, I guess you know better than nothing best better than nothing uh but i think you know I've, I've, there's definitely been a big lack of repercussions from us not paying our taxes so i think uh you know we'll we'll come in here and let's sort of uh pay pay some taxes but not maybe necessarily oh no not jay-z in the way that we were kind of expected to uh there we go that's as much taxes as I think you deserve. Uh, yeah, I did a lot of lot of work in this area as well. I I didn't get paid. I used my own diamonds. Uh, right. Anyway, we we need to head back to the airship and start working on that. So first up today, we are going to build some power cells. So I think we're just gonna start off uh, by just placing a load of sea lanterns. Uh, so this will be our power cells for the ship. Uh, so we're going to have to power that somehow. Uh, so let's see. How how far do we want this to go up? Four. Mm. Do we want four or five? Yes, five. It's got to be five really, hasn't it? There we go. And then from here, I guess we need to put uh, some sort of sleeve. Uh, wrong, wrong tool, wrong tool. No worries. Uh, 
we're gonna have to put uh in a containment field i guess of some sort uh that sort of makes sense to me anyway uh so yes. how's that looking i think we need to put something around the bottom here eventually maybe maybe we'll just make it three visible got a way down or up from in here yet oh uh there we go there we go we're out we survived a real mess of this today okay so let's remove that that uh, i've got a vision in my head i can see it it will come to life very shortly That looks about right and then put these around here and then we'll extend we'll go below deck and extend that down i think i want to put like a little fringe around so let's there we go that'll be more than enough we can just extend it down maybe we one two three four five maybe we actually take one off the top there and then we can lower that by one let's see there now i think we keep it keep it the same height that seems to make a bit more sense so we'll just do oh dear have both of our power cells in looking fantastic and lighting up the area but i think what i want to do next is get these two buildings here in place so i was thinking potentially we have one of them as like a dumping ground uh for all of our additional items and junk items to go into a sorting system and the other one to, to be a stairway down into our basement so uh i guess well we design the outside first and and then we move on to uh pulling in the uh the sort of stairways down i'm not going to do the uh sorting system today i think i'm going to leave that because uh that's a, a project in and of itself and today uh we're looking at the aesthetics so uh i guess we'll use something similar in terms of style to this so i really like the way the warped wood uh goes with the spruce and uh that spruce yeah spruce spruce birch uh it all seems to go really well so uh let's get that in and uh and Boom. Yeah, let's go. So time lapse. Let's go. And there we go we have the bottom of the airship all completely done uh well all completely done uh all the buildings anyway on the deck so we've got our two little uh 
I don't know what to call these, these, these buildings here. So this one is our drop off. And then we've also got uh, a little bit up here where we can drop off some additional supplies and storage. And then this one over here uh, actually goes down into well where where potentially a storage area will go uh, and again the ladder up to the top uh, so that's good and then over here we have well we have our four sort of power cells uh, feeding into our engine which is then uh, pumping up heat into the balloon and also powering all the other bits i thought i'd use some of the workstations and i think that looks pretty cool um, and we've got all all lit up and everything and then we've got a little building at the end here not really sure what I, i'd use that for but uh put it in there anyway and i think this looks freaking fantastic i love it i think it's it's come out really well um especially as soon as we were we hadn't pre-planned anything it was very much built on the fly yeah super cool and we get to see everything up here as well and we can fly into the the balloon and i've also managed to come and spawn protect the whole of the top of the balloon uh, so a lot of carpets and buttons and uh, anything to stop mobs from spawning up here uh, that has been a really cool addition makes it look awesome at night so i guess uh i guess we should probably uh well end end this episode but end it with a time lapse of this humongous build uh at night as well as day so uh hopefully you've enjoyed this uh this episode and uh you know you've uh, you've enjoyed this whole process of building uh the steampunk airship we've still got some work to do on it uh but we may well get to that uh, at some point but who knows so uh yeah thank thank you once again and see you soon bye